So about a year ago, I was editing my videos when I realized there was a lot of echo in my audio, and I didn't like that. And there really wasn't anything built within Final Cut Pro X that would really take care of it. I mean, in a really good way. There's a lot of different filters and plugins and presets you could do to try to fix things, but nothing was really dishing it out the way that I wanted. So that's when I stumbled across FX Studio's Crumple Pop Echo Removal software, which ran me about $100, $120, somewhere in that ballpark. And it did a phenomenal job. But now Final Cut Pro actually has a voice isolation uh, preset in there that comes free with Final Cut Pro X. So what I want to do today is compare those two together. So the one that I paid over $100 for versus the one that comes standard in Final Cut Pro X now. But I want to go a little bit step farther and add some extra icing on the cake and compare both of those to Adobe's Enhanced Speech AI software just to really see where you can dial in the best overall audio. Without further ado, let's start the starter track or whatever the control and then we will go ahead and put that through the different processes. Right now, you are hearing the test audio that we are going to use to compare the Crumple Pop Echo Removal, Final Cut Pro's Voice Isolation, and Adobe's Enhanced Speech Audio System. Right now, you are hearing the test audio that we are going to use to compare the Crumple Pop Echo Removal, Final Cut Pro's Voice Isolation, and Adobe's Enhanced Speech Audio System. Right now, you are hearing the test audio that we are going to use to compare the Crumple Pop Echo Removal, Final Cut Pro's Voice Isolation, and Adobe's Enhanced Speech Audio System. Right now, you are hearing the test audio that we are going to use to compare the Crumple Pop Echo Removal, Final Cut Pro's Voice Isolation, and Adobe's Enhanced Speech Audio System. So after getting to listen to the playback of all three, I think there's a lot of pros and cons for each one of those. So the first one being the one that's built into Final Cut Pro, I don't think is the best of the three. However, the pro of it is it's built in, it's free. There's no extra steps involved. You're literally just clicking a button and then tuning in that dial until you get a sound that sounds really good. I think in a lot of scenarios, it does a fantastic job, especially considering the fact that you don't actually have to pay any additional money for it. However, I think the Adobe one sounds the best of the three if you're just talking about it overall, but the cons to it is that one, you have to export your audio or have a separate audio track. You have to run it through there, allow it to enhance the audio, and then you back over. And it's really going ahead and editing your audio so that you Probably won't be making a whole lot of changes to it. You're no longer having that raw audio. It's kind of like shooting a JPEG on your camera. But if you don't know a lot about audio editing or how to really dial in the settings yourself, maybe then that's a pro because it's helping you do a lot of the work. So in my opinion, I think Crumple Pop works the best and that's not an affiliated thing. It's not a sponsorship thing. I'm not even telling you to go buy it. Just my ears, my personal preference for myself and the setup that I use, I think it works well. In fact, the audio that you heard at the beginning of this video and the audio that you're hearing right now is using that crumple pop effect mixed with some different mixing and effects that I add onto my audio to make it sound the way that it does. Now, I'm not an audio expert by any means. There's lots of areas that I can improve on and constantly I'm watching new videos trying to find better ways to edit my particular audio. One of the things that changes with me quite frequently is the microphones that I use. Sometimes I use Samson Q2U microphone, which is absolutely my favorite, but I can't find the cable to plug it in right now. So I'm using the Rode Studio Mic Pro. I like this microphone because it's pretty convenient. It records straight into the camera and I can hide it out of frame and I don't actually have to have it in front of my face like I do this one. So there's a lot of different variables here on how you can fix your audio. So the real answer to this, it's going to be left open to you as to what you think is the best sound or what's going to work best for your filming environment. All I wanted to do today was show you how these three different um, AI pieces of software work to help you really dial in better audio. Now, of course, one way to fix your audio is to get better equ equipment, to soundproof your room a little bit better, but not all of us have the opportunities to do that. So let me know in the comment section below about which one of these AI software pieces works the best for your ears in the current situation that you're in. I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, be sure to create something new today.